Remember in this video series, we are following this kit here, which you can buy from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So we're now on lesson five, and we're gonna look at user inputs. Um, this is where we're going to look at taking um, inputs from the users, so typing onto the keyboard, um, and making the LED do certain things. Um, so we're going to be using just the simple LED um, electronic circuit, ignore the push button. And we're going to be um, introducing the concepts of variables and user inputs. Because there's quite a lot of code in this video, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate to you what we're actually going to do. So in this example, we're going to run our um, fifth piece of code and um, it's going to ask us for a user input. We're going to say uh, LED1, which is our red LED. We're going to say for it to blink three times and the LED will blink three times. So we've entered things into the computer system and um, we've seen a result. So this is the, using the combination of variables to store our input and if statements to make choices on what we're doing, whether or not we're choosing option one for red LEDs or option two for blue LEDs. So this is the code in its entirety, but for the time being, we're just going to focus on this one piece here. And let's just take this and break this down a little bit further and understand what's going on. Above, we have the normal um, sort of declaration, setting up the Python interpreter, importing all the different um, modules that we're using, setting up the GPIO config to allow the electronics to actually work. OK, so here's just a subsection of what we're looking at. So in this snippet of code, we're going to introduce the concept of variables. Variables are nothing more but reserved memory locations to store value. This means that when you create a variable, you, you reserve some space in memory. So this is the 512 megabytes of RAM you have on the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to allocate some of that 512 megabytes of RAM, and we're going to store um, a number, the number zero in it. And when we store the number zero, we call it an integer. Um, letters and numbers together would be classified as a string, but numbers are called integers. The two variables we have here are LED choice and count. And the variables that are in both of these are the number zero. So there are two choices. What happens is we've set our two variables up with the number zero in. Then we're going to send the operating system command clear to wipe the screen. And then we're going to print to the screen which LED would you like to blink. And then the options, um, one for red and two for blue. So we're presenting our user to type that in. And then we have the option here. We say LED choice equals the input. And then it will print um, choose your option, which is what will be printed to screen. Input is the command that actually reads in what is typed into the command line. When, and then when a user presses enter, that information will be entered into LED choice. And this is what it looks like in the real world. So it prints the screen these two options here. So it prints this, the screen, and these two options. And it says choose your option. You would type two and then press enter. And then the value of LED choice, instead of being zero, would become two. So in this slide, we're introducing the concepts of if statements. And we have our first example here, which says, if the, the variable LED choice equals one, then we'll enter into this section of code. Otherwise, it will jump over this and come down to here. If LED choice equals two, and it will run this piece of code. So let's have a look and pretend that we've just selected one. If the user chooses one, then it will come down to this next step. Notice there's a white space indentation, and everything at this level will be run through until this while statement here. So we, it says option one was chosen, it enters into this line of code, it will clear the screen, it will print to the screen, you have picked red LED. It will then have our second variable, which is count, and we're going to, eat, we're going to enter into count the following, which is another input, which it says how many times would you like the LED to blink. So if we could type, for example, three, hit enter, and then count, instead of being zero, would then equal three. And then what happens is we enter into a while loop. And it says count, which we know is now three. If count is greater than zero, do the following. Well, count is greater than zero because it's three. So three is greater than zero. So it goes into this section of code. And what we can see here is it turns GPIO 27 to a high state, sleeps for a second, turns GPIO low, so it turns the LED on, waits, turns the LED off, waits, and then it says, 
count, so our variable, which is 3, equals count minus 1. So that means 3 minus 1 equals 2. And then it goes back up to the top for our while, um, our while loop and goes through the while statement again. While count, which is 2, is greater than 0, and it goes through this again. And it will continue to do this, minus 1, because, so 2 minus 1 equals 1, comes to the top, is 1 greater than 0, yes. As it comes down here, once it's finally gone through it, where it equals 0, it'll say while count 0 is greater than 0, well, it's not, therefore it's equal, therefore it drops out the code, and that's basically what will happen there. So once more, we just can see this in action. We select our script, 5 underscore user underscore input underscore blink dot py, or just 5 tab to make things easier. Which LED would you like to blink? We choose option 1, um, which gets stored into our variable. We then um, choose option 3 for how many times would you like the LED to blink, and that gets stored into our count variable. And that's basically it. It blinked three times, and if we choose option 2, that gets stored into the LED choice, and then we choose the second if statement, and again, three more times, and we can blink our LEDs. There we go. If you're interested in programming, I would recommend that you go over to the Code Academy website and follow their Python track, and there's many more um, if statements and while statements examples in their fantastic interactive website, and I think this is a fantastic complimentary website to these videos and they can teach you far more than I can do in these 10 minute videos. So if you want to keep watching these videos, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel.